you're one of my favorite players in in to talk to in the sport and you're 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 a deep uh, you know seriously you you're you're a passionate guy deeply passionate guy and i i want to know when you saw last night uh with Tua on the turf what was going through your mind and what do you think is go- what are you guys talking about it in the locker room today anything going on when you have a conversation at all George? um you know it just football is just it's a violent sport and things happen um you know it just it really that's like the last thing i ever want to see is someone on the ground doing you know uh especially after you're getting hit in the head right um it's just it's brutal to watch but it's just a reality of the sport that we play and it's the chance that you take every time you you know going between the lines and um it really sucks and i don't know what the protocols are or, you know especially with all the clips circulating of what you know happened last week with two and then he plays four days later um you know it seems like a lot to me and uh, but you know as a player you're going to do everything you can to be out on the football field because you, know, you only get so many opportunities to do it and it's sometimes you need help protecting yourself from yourself and i don't know what that situation was i haven't talked to anybody in their building right it's just a, it's a tough situation especially with all the cameras and all the eyes on concussion protocols now so you now i'm interested to see what um the nflpa finds or what the nfl does but it's just it's a tough ball and i just really feel bad for Tua. and i'm excited for him though that you know he flew back with the team on the plane so that's hopefully good news and um, you know, hopefully this will not be something that lingers or he can move on from it fairly quickly. But I hope they uh, make sure they take care of him. Me too.